Welcome back to Wasted Local Fantasy Football. Hi, I'm Kevin. Great. Thanks for ruining it. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> Jeez. Why you got to ruin stuff, man? I don't know. Why? Why? Because I'm Kevin. That's fair. Kevin that's does. Fair. I am Daniel, your host. As Kevin said, that's Kevin. And that's Justin. Where's Ryan? Ryan is having a butt plug removed. Wow. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. He says he fell on it, but yeah, okay. Believe that when I see it. Mm-hmm. Wink. Um, <laughs> anyway. Oh Man, it's starting great. <laughs> I got to go. I, listen, I'm not Ryan. I couldn't woo, so I just had to interrupt you another way. That's so. fair. I was All actually right. kind of hoping that Jebecki would, but. Do what? Woo. Woo. There we go. Close I mean, you got You got to match the intensity, though. But, like, it wasn't on my list of things to do. That's fair. So That's I my fault. Know. That's my fault. It's his fault. It's okay. Ryan <laughs> probably just wooed wherever he's at. Probably. He either. felt it. He did send me a video with his picks, which is what I was meaning to do earlier, and I forgot to put it on there still. What kind of picks? Feet picks? Probably. Yeah. He's what probably still crying about He CJ was trying. He Yeah, he was trying to get... You know, us to solicit Jebecki's feet picks last week on the podcast. He did. That was I a, was that very was a... upset when I watched that. There's <laughs> a comment about yeah. it too. <laughs> yep. Daniel's like, "How about no?" Yeah, I, was like, yeah, <laughs> I let's, appreciate let's, that. Let's not, yeah, I no appreciate problem, Ryan. Be a man. Ask for yourself. I just, yeah. I just laughed. That way she can I, I didn't say yay yeah or nay to that. I was just like, yeah, right, it's well, like I don't even know this person. I just know I won't see any of the like the money from it. So. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, that's that's your issue. Yeah. No, that's not <laughs> it at all. Yeah, that goes all to Michael. I mean. yeah, that's fair. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and leave some comments down below because we will read them live next week. So comment, co- co- comment, comment, whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm drinking water, beer, and coffee at the same time. So pardon my flubs, I guess. Um, support us over on Patreon, 13 Palm Trees, uh, or patreon.com slash 13 Palm Trees, as well as check out our merch store at, thir- thir- I always freaking screw this one up, 13 Palm Trees dot my dot com. It's a lot of URLs. Yes, it is. It's- I wish like, I wish that Shopify would, I'm sure that they, I know that they do because I work for a company that does, but has the storefront that's not 13 Palm Trees dot my dot com, but you probably have to pay a lot for that. Probably. So, I mean, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so before we jump into everything with this league, we need to give a moment of silence to Mr. Adamatic. I don't know who that is, but you lost in the guillotine league this week. So suck it. Rip. Thank you for Cooper cup. I appreciate it. Um, too bad. I'm going to lose this week. Um, nobody here is actually in that guillotine league now, but I literally, my quarterback is on a buy. My best running back is on a buy. Um, Yeah. It's pretty pretty sad. What happens if you bid for players that come off the dead team, and you, they don't, and nobody picks them up? Do those players go off into the ether and nobody can grab them? Like, what do you mean? Like, like if you, so, if you, like this guy's team lost, yeah, and then you guys bid on his players. Mm-hmm. What happens if nobody picks up his quarterback? Um, they what? they stay on the waiver wire. Then after the waiver. And you can, it's, it's a free for all oh, okay, at that cool. point. I got so you. basically you're bidding on the best players. So like you want to pick up like the good players off the roster. So you have to bid for them. So, but in the end, the last two teams are going to be able to pick. Yeah, exactly. The best players yep. pretty much available. Yeah. And the cool thing about it is that since it runs through week 18, you're not going to want like your, you know, Patrick, oh, yeah, Patrick Mahomes and stuff, people that are going to be resting. So you've really got to play. Deshaun Watson will be resting too, because they're on a buy because, in the playoffs. because he'll probably be hurt again. No, no, no. Um, so, He'll have three buys that, yeah. that year. Um, also, <laughs> there was a comment left about um, if there was a way that we could put up graphics. One, no, I'm not doing that because it's a lot of work. But I did make a Google Drive where I took screenshots of everything in the league, our teams, um, the standings, and the matchups, and um, the scores, the previous scores. And it's a free link. Anybody can view it. It'll be in the description. Uh, down below as well as I posted it and pinned it in the comments from last week's video as well. And I'll be updating that every week. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll be posting all the new stuff and then I'll put every, every week into its own folder. Um, that way it's easily, it, everything's easy to find. So great compromise. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought about doing the graphics, but honestly, like, no, I do too much work for this podcast I mean, already. Listen, that's just, that's just way too much. Work. This records and then releases the next day. Yeah. So they got, yeah, I literally go home from the reasonable here. folks. I thought it was a good suggestion, though. No, it was a great yeah. suggestion. Yeah. I, 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 but I, like, I understand it. Yeah. Time crunch. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that I, I found a solution that yeah that was easy for both of us. So or for, for me, not for you. Like, I don't really care if it's easy for you guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just click on a link. You're fine. Um, also, there's this little video down below me that shows like literally all the scores and all that stuff. So, you know, put on some glasses. You can see it. All right. So um, before we jump into winners and losers of the week, let's just go ahead real quick and go over what happened this week. Um, I lost again. It happens. Yep. Um, wow, well, it doesn't happen to everybody, but yeah. it happens to me a lot. My highest, my highest point score was my kicker. To be fair, with eighteen points, you and I have lost the same amount of games. That's true. So yeah, I, I feel your pain. The three of us right here are, <laughs> but I, in I, eighth, I do ninth, have in tenth place. I do have Wait, one. Hold, hold up here, I don't have three losses. No, we're all you were. I said we're in eighth, ninth, and tenth place. Don't don't put me with you, you losers. I mean, who you're in eighth place? Yeah, but I'm not ninth and tenth with uh, one and you three were, records. Listen, listen. Listen, we were depressed I last week. I, I didn't say anything about record. We I were depressed said, last week. We're back, baby. All right. We're great again. We're going to well, bury Last week, you. you were wearing your Cleveland Brown stuff. That's why you were depressed. Well, they're on a buy. They've been on multiple buys. The Mountaineers, we're climbing so, again. So, listen, yep. listen. Buy weeks in week five is so stupid. It is. <laughs> it's, it's way so too dumb. Now you got to go, what, 13 13 weeks? games yeah, in a row. Yeah, it sucks for it's them. So, I, I get it. You have to, like, spread them out, but come on. Like that's that's just absolutely absurd. Plus, some of my fantasy teams just can't handle it. So right. Well, I, I think I had one player on by this week. Yeah. That I had to They're like, out. let's give you four weeks for half your team to get hurt, and then all the waiver pickups are gone. So you're just screwed. So. Uh, but, no, I I yeah. agree. I agree with you. Yeah. But yeah, I lost to Josiah one hundred eight point three six to eighty four point six. Uh, Justin and R- actually played last week. Why don't you tell us about your game, you guys? <laughs> yeah. This who, was this was fun. who I play? Kevin. Kevin. I'm sorry. Kevin. Gosh, he's Who's, right here. Who the hell? Is R- I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I screwed up. It's I think he's that guy on that other like Nintendo podcast. So oh, Kevin, that's true. That's true. Kevin's yeah. been the matchup of the week every week because nobody wants to be in last place. So we had a nice little match here. It was You're over. Welcome. It was over on Sunday. Thank you. Welcome. Afternoon. Thank you. Sunday afternoon. <laughs> my my quarterbacks combined for a whopping six points. <laughs> <laughs> thanks joe burrow and kenny pickett oh my gosh. oh my gracious that Dude, is that's, i thought that was a joke that's no totally it's not a joke, joke. That's, they actually combined for like my six, defense got more points, points than that and, and they lost 28 decimals. to 3 <laughs> yeah oh my gracious Sad. that's how bad my quarterbacks were Dude, yeah, it's a rough week uh, for Kevin in his non-existent belief in dinosaurs, which we'll, we'll get there with you, buddy. I don't know. No, uh, wait. No, I believe he believes they dinosaurs. do exist. Yeah. Oh, the name okay. is dinosaurs exist, not dinosaurs don't exist. I thought it's because you were making fun of me. What kind of communist think I am not believing in dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. There's some deep lore in this uh, fantasy. I feel like the people who don't is. believe in dinosaurs are also flat earthers. So Probably, That's fair, yeah. 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 That is. Okay, I, well, I, we I, just, I, I can see yeah. the correlation there, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, they so. totally exist. I mean, see, you, ever be- seen, you ever seen a crocodile? Yeah, I have. I mean, not like in real life. Oh, but. I haven't either. No, I'd be too scared of that. Y'all never been to a damn zoo? Yeah, but I go there for the monkeys because I throw poop at people. Uh, fantastic, so. Yeah, I probably have seen a crocodile. I've been to the zoo there. with you. Yeah, you're right. You have been to the zoo with yeah, me. Yeah. That was that a good was, time. That was fun. Yeah. It was like 2010. Me and you and, and John and Michael. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. When I went and walking around looking like Brett Michaels with the yes. bandana on and my big sunglasses, <laughs> like a chad. Now I wish you put that graphics in because we can put that picture in. Yeah, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> I think Letitia will probably have it. So. If you could send it to me before like eight o'clock tonight, then I yeah. could get it to you. I can put it up. Um, all right, let's go ahead and just move on. Let's get through this real quick. Um, dropping my bat load. Actually, you know what? We'll get to that one in a bit. Yeah. We'll yeah we'll that, was, that was that was it. Uh, Ryan beat my ec my back. 138.06 to 81.74. Nathan was the lowest, or no, he wasn't. It was the lowest scoring team, but Nathan was right there with him. Um, moving Ryan to three and one and Nathan to two and two. Hard Knocks took out Jed, Team Big L's RS, 126.7. Brittany's team's actually looking pretty decent. Yes. Now that Josh Allen's playing well. Um, and she got really, I mean, it did, wouldn't have mattered, but the fact that, um, actually it could have mattered, but Mike Evans got hurt. In the game, Nathan had Mike Evans, and Brittany had Chris Godwin. So since Mike Evans got hurt, Godwin got all those targets, got 15.4 points. So that probably actually won the game for her. And then the matchup, this wasn't the actual matchup of the week, I don't think, from last week. No, my matchup was matchup of the week last week. Yeah. Um, this should have been, though. 
Michael, the undefeated team, the chosen one, taking on dropping my bat load, Bruce. Bruce did not play Deshaun Watson. And, or no, he played Deshaun Watson, who was out, <laughs> and beat Michael. 112.9. To be fair to poor Bruce, they announced that at like noon or 12.30. Yeah. It, it was something ridiculously yeah, it's like late. Very last minute, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah. Um. But regardless, I mean, well, it, Christian McCaffrey put up 45 points, which, you know, it's Christian McCaffrey. So, uh, A.J. Brown, 34 points. Uh, Michael's defense was his leading scorer with Dallas's defense getting 26. Wow. Two tutties. I know Michael loves tutties. He, he, he hates it whenever I say tutties. <laughs> Two tuds. Two tuds. Um, so, yeah, moves Michael to 3-1 and one and moves, keeps Bruce, like, right there in the mix. Um. Let's just go ahead and get to the league standings real quick um, before I forget again, because I do that every week. Um, so right now we have a new first place team. And this he decided to take a, a victory day off, Ryan. Um, <laughs> Ryan sitting in first place at three and one. What a shared. Right. I'm going to move this over here. This is kind of annoying. There we go. That's much better. All right. Uh, the chosen one, Michael, in second place at three and one. My ek, my back, Nathan. In third place, two and two. Hard Knocks, Brittany in fourth at two and two. Dropping my bat load in fifth at two and two. Team Big L's RS, sixth at two and two. Josiah in seventh place at two and two. Um, Justin in eighth place at two and two. In ninth place at one and three. And that's all we need to talk about. <laughs> Suck um, it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in dead last because, you know. Had the, dude, be had the Nick, best team. Nick the Chubb. Of the year. Oh, my dude, God. Dude, Nick Chubb going out screwed me i would have won if nick chubb wouldn't have gotten hurt i would have won that matchup against michael and i was close enough against josiah that i could have won if nick chubb would have done like a normal had like a normal week dude it just destroyed my team like it destroyed my <clears throat> life so that's fair we uh, both we both you. are feeling the effects of it yep rip but all right let's go ahead and get to uh winner and loser of mm. the week is that me I mean, I I, I think I've I mean, got mine ready. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, I go for like, it. Go for it. Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Kevin, go I've got, for it. So I have a winner and loser and an honorable mention for each. Is that allowed? That's fine. Okay. You do you, bro. You so do you. my honorable Take mention. Take pants off. What? Sorry. I got I got excited. I'm sorry. Well, you just got me excited. So my honorable mention for the winner of the week is Brittany because there's no better feeling than beating Jed. That's true. Always. That's true. To Always be fair, he's defective, so it kind of feels good and bad at the same time. Right? <laughs> it's like, should I be doing this to this person? But it feels too good to <laughs> stop. So. But my actual win of the week is uh, is Bruce, who managed to beat the undefeated Michael without yep. a quarterback. Yep. So, awesome job, Bruce. Mm -hmm. uh, for loser of the week, I have an honorable mention once again. And uh, my loser of the week honorable mention is Michael. Because, well, we all know he's a loser. <laughs> <And he lost. laughs> to be fair this whole segment wasn't necessarily supposed to just be about the league it was supposed to be just about us making fun oh of well then you know what he's my loser of the week and my honorable mention is daniel because he's in last okay. place that's fair sadness okay but yep. michael's still a bigger loser <laughs> yeah, <that's fair. laughs> michael was also my loser of the week because he lost to somebody that had Didn't a play quarterback play. with the zero points i mean um I, mean, I played joe burrow it's kind of the same yeah that's true <laughs> i mean yeah you might as well just like you know cut him <laughs> at this point He's bad. Yeah. Uh, Justin, you have uh, yeah, any thoughts on this here? No, nah, I mean, loser of the week, I think, all around has to be Michael. Yeah. He had a defense score of 26 points and a guy who didn't play a quarterback and still lost. Yep. I don't even know how that's possible. Well, I mean, Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> and Christian AJ McCaffrey. Brown. AJ Brown had his best game of the year with like, like between Christian McCaffrey and AJ Brown, they had, uh, I think, 76 points. So wow. that would have been th Those two almost would have beat. Kevin this week, sorry. Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, I mean Christian McCaffrey. I'm glad he I'm glad he got all his <laughs> points out because uh he ain't getting them this week. So we'll <laughs> see true. what we'll see what happens. Yeah. But yeah, definitely Michael as the loser of the week. But I gotta give Ryan winner of the week. I mean, his team is looking dominated. It's so crazy how fast your team could go up and down just based off a couple waiver wires. He's a little upset about his waiver pickup, but I think he'll be just fine. You yeah, know what, I mean, you know what annoys me about Ryan is that like I won't look at the games. I'll just like keep track of my game, like throughout the day. And he's just like, man, I just need this and this and this and this. And I look at like the the final score. It's like, dude, you 
destroyed. Yeah. Like, he was literally he upset. He was complaining. He's like, oh, Puka Nakua finally. And I was like, dude, you finally. He's got almost 30 points. I right. Mean, he was upset that I got CJ Stroud in waivers. Bitch, my quarterback scored six points last week. <laughs> Why are you upset about that? He's got Jalen Hurts. What's he need? Yeah. You, right? just, you just traded a quarterback because you had three. Yep. Yep. And he's definitely my winner of the week, though, because, I mean, his team is, it's, it's looking like you week one. Yeah. So uh, we'll we'll see what happens from here on out, though. But yep. Yeah, uh, my winner of the week would probably go to Bruce, just simply for the fact that it's respectful. <laughs> he lucked into beating the undefeated team. It was impressive, um, and you know it kind of correlates with the loser of the week, like the fact that Michael lost that way. Michael's matchups: Josh Jacobs finally had a good game for him, but the rest of his team just. Uh, the matchups were tough. Tua versus Buffalo. Buffalo, like, just Oof. took it to him. Um, took it to a... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Very nice. I don't yeah. You like that? He'll be back there. Yeah. He'll, he'll bounce back. Oh, yeah, yeah, he will. All right. Let's... Uh, so, we've got um, some fun stuff. Uh, this is this is really, really fun because uh, the league picks and the primetime picks. The league picks, Justin, you went two and three. Respectable. That's not bad. I also went two and three. And the uh, the Rocket League, so or marble, whichever one went two and three as well. So Justin, you were sitting at nine and 11. I am sitting at 13 and seven and the marble is sitting at 12 and eight. Ryan, 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 <laughs> Ryan went oh and five. He yes. picked every single game wrong. Woo! There's literally a 50, 50 chance of getting those right. <laughs> and Ryan, you were doing so well. Way to beat the odds. Yep. And now you are tied with Justin. From yeah, last buddy. At welcome down to the bottom. Uh, the primetime picks, though, uh, it's a different, a little bit different story over here. Justin, actually, we all went three and one this week. Um, Justin, you are now at eight and seven, so you're above five hundred. Yes, that's, good. that's pretty good. Uh, Ryan is in first place at eleven and four, and I'm in uh, second place at ten and five. So, pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and get to the matchup of the week. All right. Since I got all defensive on you about being in last place, <laughs> matchup of the week: Frog and Wallabies versus Hover Around Genocide. Why? Why is that matchup of the week? Because we're getting down to the point, Daniel, where if you lose, it's it's real bad. Yeah, it's not looking good for the playoffs. There's only four spots in this league. It's very competitive. Everybody's hitting the waiver wires. So I got some questions for you, for you, since you have a different quarterback every week because you're just trying to figure out what's going on here. Will Jordan Love, how's he going to do for you this week? Well, he's got a matchup versus the Raiders. It's uh, at Vegas, which really doesn't matter. I'm sure that's one of those stadiums where away fans will come. It's a dome. Well, I mean, I traded for Jordan Love because he's been consistent, and Jed had three quarterbacks. He's got, he had Herbert, Jordan Love, and Dak Prescott. And Trevor Lawrence has not been performing. Uh, where I thought he would. So I needed to make a move there. So I got Jordan Love because he's been consistent, to say the least. Yeah. He lost on Thursday Night Football and still put up um, like 18 to 20 points, roughly. But I think Vegas has a worse defense. And it's not on a short week where he played last week uh, on a short week. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but that's like that. And what the heck is going on? That's a bit of party outside. music, yeah. Very loud. Having a friggin' yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, I don't know. I I don't think that it's going to come down to quarterback play. I think it's going to come down to my running backs. To be I honest. Like, I actually had a different pick for that. That's interesting. Yeah. You thought that. So uh, let me bring this to you, Kevin. If you'd like to have a pair of wide receivers, who would you rather have? Tyreek Hill and Amon St. Brown. Amon Ra. Amon Ra. Yep. Emotep. <laughs> or Marquise, Marquise Brown and George Pickens. Oh, uh, I would in a heartbeat take Tyreek Hill and uh, I'm on Ross A. Brown. Well, like, that's, not, even, not even a question. That's oh, the matchup that's your, we have. That's oh. my wide receivers because they're garbage. I could substitute in Cortland Sutton or Christian Watson, which is he's terrible too. DK Metcalf is on a bye, so I don't have him. Um, mm. But I think you got the massive advantage of wide receiver. Running back, however, though, David Montgomery, will he put up massive points again? Probably. And then They're Alvin Kamara Carolina. is back for me. Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, Saquon Barkley. Nobody knows if he's going to play. <laughs> Why would you show back up for the Giants? I don't know. I would just say I pulled my hammy every day. Yeah, right. <laughs> so um, that's my thoughts is that my wide receivers are really going to come back to 
to bite me here, I think. So. Also, and how is Alvin Kamara going to do? Because he didn't do great last week. He did okay. And he did better than my running backs the previous week. Well, I think he got targeted like like actual passing. Yeah. Uh, I think it was like 14 times or something like that. Something ridiculous. So that's why his production, or it looked better than it when mm-hmm. he actually played. Mm-hmm. Um, but, okay. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to interrupt us every week. You're going to need to like start paying dues or something, dude. I'm over here and show that. Um, I just want to point out too. I think you have you a major sit, advantage, you just, though. Sit, you just want to sit behind me here. Stand behind you. What I got major advantage? If, if Montgomery you shows up this week like he did last week, that's a big <laughs> advantage for you. Oh, because yeah, last yeah. week he absolutely dominated. And Mahomes won't have the pressure of Taylor Swift watching him. I think he's gonna dominate again this week. So last <laughs> Why week, did you look at me when you said Taylor Swift? Because you said you hated Taylor Swift. You were all upset about oh, me okay. saying Taylor okay. Swift. I don't hate her. Well, I just don't love her. Just, I don't. Enjoy I said her. you went to a Taylor Swift concert. You're like, no, no Taylor way. Swift okay. is the trash. Listen, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The, the real lovely blonde of football we all know is is Carrie Underwood every Sunday night. Absolutely, Dude. give Sing me Carrie. Give me Carrie. My my butthole. Well, I was gonna say something else, but yeah. that's what I say every time she. Carrie Underwood out. definitely greater than Taylor Swift. <clears throat> she's the OG. So yeah, sorry, and she's back. way more attractive than Taylor Swift. What? I'm sure Stevie Nicks was good too. All right, let's go ahead and just run down the rest of these matchups for the week. <clears throat> so that was our game. So actually, you know what? Why don't you talk about your game? So or, uh, Kevin, I'm sorry. Gosh, whenever you're here, I can't not call you. It's weird. Um, the wrong so you see, you call me Kevin. Why? Well, I'm not. I don't want to go to. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. It's okay. Uh, so this week I am playing Hard Knocks, aka Brittany, who. I don't quite know what to think of this matchup just yet because she hasn't set her lineup. Yeah. But um, I'm really hoping to bounce back now that I've got C.J. Stroud, a quarterback. He's been playing really consistently. Yes. He Ryan great. Turner. Just put out that I, Ryan, that I've got C.J. Stroud starting. Um, <laughs> Pollard has been solid. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to need big performances from those two. Playing San Francisco. They are. And that's going to be a tough matchup mm-hmm. for him for sure. That's, I mean, that's... I look, I look for Pollard to get to play like... 80% of the snaps because our his backup Dowdle is injured. So he's going to be on the field a lot more. So he might actually get even more work in the passing game. So hopefully so. We'll yeah. see what happens. Um I don't want to pick myself to win, but I I think this is definitely a winnable matchup for my team. Yeah. Uh especially with the change of quarterback. That's that's going to be key for me. Is that going to pay off? I don't know how you won a single game with Joe Burrow as your quarterback. Because the game I won, I started Kenny Pickett. (laughs) Yeah. That's even better. (laughs) You're going to put me down like a horse. (laughs) All right. (laughs) So next up, we've got dropping my bat load. Bruce versus Hakuna Taylor. Josiah, do you have anything to say about this game? Come and share it with us since you're here. Cooper Cup's been activated from the IR oh. as of today. Oh, yeah. So hey, what's uh, Jonathan Taylor looking like? Um, He is back at practice, but he still doesn't like the Colts. So he <laughs> might just, you know, suit up for the other team this week. And also good for me. Yeah. All right. Who do you think is going to win that game? You think you're going to win or you think uh, Bruce is going to take it? The projections right now are within three points. <clears throat> Whatever the marble says. Whatever okay. the marble says. We didn't, we didn't point out, though, the projections between you two this week. Dead on. Dead on 50-50. Oh, yeah. yep. 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 That's why I was mad every week. I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. Yep. All right. So next up, we've got uh, my Eck, my back, Nathan versus the chosen one, Michael. Um, it's going to be a slugfest, I think. Um, I mean, they both got great rosters. Um. So Michael's got Tua versus the Giants, which could just be, yeah, that's uh, I think that's not going to be good for Nathan. Yeah, Lamar oh Jackson versus gracious. Pitt. <laughs> I mean, I feel like at least Pittsburgh's defense might be able to stop Lamar Jackson. I don't know, man. They couldn't stop C.J. Stroud last week. That's why I have him on roster now. It's fair. It's fair. That is that's that, true. I that's a very good but point, man, though. But this is also Lamar Jackson. It's, it's, it's the Giants got to go down to Miami. Ooh, yeah. wee, that's gonna be bad. Yeah. Two is yep. probably gonna put up a forty burger. Like, let's yeah. let's be honest. Like, he's probably gonna. Well, maybe because they've been like those running backs though. Like, they're he could they they could win seventy to twenty again, and he could only put up twenty points because you have five touchdowns from the running backs. Like, I think the key to victory for Michael is gonna be how uh, Arizona performs this week against um, Joe Mixon. Because mm-hmm. Arizona is, uh, the, I would call them the most interesting team in the league this year. 
because everybody feisty, thought, man. yeah, they, everybody thought they, they were just going to lay down and lose every game, but they've been competitive every week. They just have a big win over the Cowboys last week. Yep. So it's, and they got Joe Burrow on the field, so that's kind of winnable for them. That's yep. a winning situation right there. Yep. Fact check: They did, in fact, beat the Cowboys last week. Yes, so no. just make- get out of here. <laughs> You're not allowed back anymore. <laughs> All right. All right, and the last matchup of the week, we've got uh, Ryan, the mayor of TD City, versus Team Big L's RS right now. Um, uh, Jed's team's uh, – let me let me look here because he's projected for only 80 points. Wow, his quarterback's uh, Yikes. there in – Yeah, because Her- yeah, Herbert's he's got, he's got Herbert on a bye. He'll probably – I would assume he would start um, Jared Goff versus Carolina. Yeah, I wouldn't start over... – I would not start Prescott this week. No. Um but even then, the projections are only going to shoot up <clears throat> to like 95. So I don't know. I just think that, you know, you got Hertz for Ryan versus the Rams, Bijan Robinson versus Houston. Um, Jameer Gibbs still isn't really, he's, he's not, not really, being used. Yeah. Um, but and T. Higgins is not only questionable, but he also has Burrow throwing to him. So that's a double whammy. Yeah. But Terry McLaurin's playing Chicago on Thursday night, who could probably put Ooh, up yeah. 40 points. So, all right. Let's go ahead and just pick these games real quick. Woo! Hey, everybody. It's Ryan. I had to get the woo in there for this episode because I will not be there this week because I have to take pictures at a parade. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys my winners and losers of the week so far, or winner and loser. And also give you guys my picks for this week's uh, games, as well as my primetime picks. So let's go ahead and hop into that really quick. First of all, my winner of the week is Bruce. Congratulations, Bruce. You beat Michael without a quarterback, which ties right in with my loser of the week, Michael. You lost to Bruce, who had no quarterback. So (laughs) be better. Um, As a big L, right to Michael there. That also drops another 3-1, and which is great, because that puts me in first place for the league right now so number one in the league right now number one it probably won't last long anyway let's move on to my picks for the week starting with michael and nathan's game um right now i'm probably gonna take michael on this one i think he's gonna bounce back this week um i don't know um i haven't looked a whole lot into this i don't want to make this too long i'm already at a minute right now um, but I think two is going to have a big game against the Giants, obviously. I am scared, though, for Cincinnati against Arizona. We all thought Arizona would be the worst in the league, uh, but it's looking like the Bengals are going to be the worst in the league right now. So, I don't know. He's got a lot against the Giants here. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick Michael for this one over Nathan. Moving on to Brittany versus Kevin. Uh, Brittany has players on buys and has not changed her schedule yet or her roster. So... Hopefully she fixes that. Right now, Kevin is projected to beat the crap out of her. Kevin also picked up CJ Stroud, which is someone I was targeting just to have him on my bench. Um, so give me Kevin over Brittany. Moving on, dropping my bat load, Bruce versus Hakuna Taylor, Josiah. Give me Bruce. I think Bruce is going to win again. CMC is a beast. He's not human. Um, if AJ Brown keeps getting targets like he has been getting, he's going to continue to profit. So give me Bruce moving on to my matchup of the week. Uh, hover on genocide, Daniel versus Justin. Hey guys, how y'all doing in the studio? I know. I wish I was there. Um, this game is very close and I'm picking Justin to win this one. Go Justin beat Daniel's butt. And then lastly, my game versus, uh, not Lyndon. It is Jed big L's are us. As of right now, uh, Jed does not have a quarterback in because Justin Herbert is on a bye. Hopefully he doesn't change that, but also hope he does because if I lose to him and he has no quarterback like Michael lost to Bruce last week, I'm going to be sad. Um, But I am going to take myself to win this because I like my matchups. Um, I'm really hoping that Puka keeps producing even if Cooper Cup comes back. Um, But I'm going to pick myself to win this one. I, I, I can see my players having a big week, and I'm hoping they do. So, yeah, I'm going to take myself. Let's start at the top. Uh, me versus Justin. I am going with Justin. Because, I'm going with me too, buddy. Yeah. I'm also uh, taking Justin in this one. Yeah. All right, Bruce versus Josiah. I've got Bruce. i got Bruce winning that one. I've got Josiah. you got Josiah. I am taking Josiah. Justin really? Fields on a comeback. Yep. Dominated last week. Good luck. You playing Justin Fields this week? 
Um, we'll see. You'll see? Okay. I have, I have things in the works. All right. I got you. We need like a little side mic over here. Just like hand it off to you. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I beat Daniel last week. Yeah, we get it. Uh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't need a side mic anymore. Yeah, no, yeah. You don't get a side mic anymore. Privilege revoked. You're, you're only coming over here to my mic to make fun of me, and I don't appreciate it. You All can right. come use my mic. No. <laughs> he actually made fun of the Cowboys last time, not you. Which is an extension of me. Huh. So, I mean, obviously. Fair. <laughs> uh, Brittany versus Kevin. I've got Kevin winning. I have Kevin winning. All right. Well, I've got Kevin winning too. Yep. All right. <laughs> Nathan versus Mike. Some some slightly less fat guy than the oh. that used to be in the league. Oh. Hated. Yeah. Yeah. He was a he was a jack off. <laughs> uh, Nathan versus Michael. I actually picked Nathan to win this game because last time I picked against Michael, he lost. So um, I've got Michael. I got Michael because yeah. two is going to go off. Yep. Yep. I actually didn't even look at that whenever I made this pick, yep. so I'm probably going to regret that. <laughs> and Ryan versus Jed. I've got Ryan. Yeah, I've got Ryan. Ryan. All right. So let's go ahead and get to... Wait, we just did Match of the Week, right? Yep. Um, okay, yeah. We bad, bad fantasy advice. And now it's time for Bad Fantasy Advice, presented by 13 Palm Trees. Remember to set your lineup on Sunday morning because everybody knows that Thursday night games are bad luck. All right, you two lovely humans. Woo! We are going to do something today that um, actually mega. I was trying to sit and figure out since Ryan wasn't going to be on today. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a game to do last night. And Mega's like, try Family, family Feud. So we came up with this idea. Thank you, Mega. Made up the, uh, the overlay for it. And so I, I don't watch a whole lot of Family Feud, but I know this the rounds, how it's going to take place is like the, the rapid fire rounds. I'm going to ask a question and <clears throat> you will have to just spit out answers. You'll hear this sound if you um, get something wrong. That's okay. It's not working. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You'll, you'll hear a buzzing sound if you... Sounds I'll, I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it in post. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we won't hear about the sound. Uh, and if you get <clears throat> something, because basically you've, we've got a list, just like Family Feud. If it's not on that list, you're going to hear a buzzer. If it's on that list, you'll hear a ding. So basically, you have to whoever gets the highest score. Everything that's tiered, everything is worth its own amount of points. Just like Family Feud. Gotcha. I don't really know how it works. So I don't know how to describe it. So how have you not watched Family? Feud? I've watched it, but I don't. I don't. It's I'm not an American. Steve class. Harvey is a treasure. I he love is. Steve Harvey. Yeah. Okay, and I only watch the ones whenever it's the, like the football players on it. And it's funny, and they're always just making dirty jokes. So that's every. That's just Steve Harvey. That's Steve okay, Harvey. That's the questions are always so good. They are. His okay. face. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh dear. Okay, so I'll need to figure out how to decide which of you are going to go first. The guest. We got the rock, paper, oh. scissors? I mean, we can do rock, paper, scissors. That's fine. Let's right. do that. We yep. doing rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Yep. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Best of three. Oh, that was <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. It's more fair that way. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I All tried right. to go every time All with first. scissors. All, All right. right. Social experiment. See if Ke Kevin. Kevin. Yep. We go against All right. scissors. So we're going to start this off here. So now now you'll be... Okay, tell, show them the noises. All right. Ready here? Yep, that's for, okay, that's okay. for bad. That's for no. And then yeah, that's for good. All right. Wow. All right. All right. Um, I was going to do a time limit, but I just don't care. Okay. We're not going to do a time limit. So gotcha. It, it would make it more interesting, but uh, that's a lot of work for me in post. I don't feel like doing it. So I'm lazy. It's fine. <clears throat> All right. Question number one. What body part is often discussed when it comes to football? Legs. <laughs> Gotta be quicker. Come on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. What food is often served at a Super Bowl party? Uh, pizza. Name a highly respected Super Bowl coach. Um, Tom Landry. Name something a team can be penalized for. Offside. Besides a helmet, name a piece of equipment. Shoulder pads. Good job. Name something you are guaranteed to see at a football game. Football. 
Besides the quarterback, <laughs> name a football position. Um, running back. Name a professional football team with an animal in its name. Detroit Lions. All right. Good job. <laughs> Good job. All right. Woo. All right. So we will um, go ahead and move on to Justin here. It'll be the same questions. Took, and all, took all the answers, though. There's, there's a ton of answers, my guy. Yes. There's a ton of answers. Know, but there's a couple fun. that I wish I had answered something different on, oh, okay. but it was after the fact. Yeah. I'm really surprised. Like, I was I was writing these down. I wanted to do the first one, what the body part one, and I'm like, somebody's going to say balls. And I'm going to just laugh. <laughs> 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 all right, Justin, you ready? <clears throat> I'm ready. What body part is often discussed when it comes to football? The arm. What food is often served at a Super Bowl party? Nachos. Name a highly respected Super Bowl coach. Bill Belichick. Name something a team can be penalized for. Taunting. It's not on there. I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new NFL. You can't taunt. I know. Have you seen that? It's not on this list. Though. Oh, I'll tell you what. That's dirty. You can keep going or pass. No, oh, keep going. Okay. Well, I mean, you, you, you can still answer this. Oh, one. I can still yeah, answer yeah, the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, roughing the passer. There you go. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. This is why I didn't time it, too, because I'm stupid. Besides a helmet, name a piece of equipment in football. Cleats. Name something you are guaranteed to see at a football game. Cheerleaders. Besides the quarterback, name a football position. Wide receiver. Name a professional football team with an animal in its name. The Miami Dolphins. All right. Good job. Okay, now I'm going to add up these scores. So, uh... Editor, edit this out. All right, so we have tallied up the score. There was a total top points would could get you 278. Okay. For the first question, what body part is often discussed when it comes to football? Justin, you said arms. That was for 17 points. You said legs for two points. I should have said knee. The number one uh, answer was head for 36. Oh, okay. Mm. The second question, what food is often served at a Super Bowl party? Justin, you said nachos. That was worth 18 points. You said pizza. That was worth nine. The top answer was wings for 30. Wings. I thought that would immediately have said pizza. Yeah. yeah. Another thought, one of those. Yeah. Name a highly respected Super Bowl coach at number three. Justin, you said Bill Belichick. That was the number one answer. 42 points. You said Tom Landry for eight points. Number four, name something a team can be penalized for. You got the number one answer at offsides at 29 points. And Justin, roughing the passer at 12 points. At number five, besides a helmet, name a piece of equipment a football player must wear during the game. Shoulder pads. Number one answer. Very for nice. 64 points. Wow. Hey, really? That was the big one. I actually thought he would get more. Nope. Cleats was worth wow. 10. Damn, nope. man. Name something you are guaranteed to see at a football game with the number one answer it's again. Gonna, it's going to come down to football. the wire. Football. <laughs> it's 31 <laughs> points. Justin, cheerleaders at four points. What? There's yeah. only four people that said, oh, I'll tell you so what. So there's, there's other ones. This one this one was fun because it's football, <laughs> fans, halftime show, players, beer, celebrities, cheerleaders, touchdowns, drunk people, and referees. So. <laughs> Uh, number seven, besides the quarterback, name a football position. Justin, you got the number one at 25 points, a wide receiver, but a close second running back at 23 points. Yeah. And a professional football team with an animal in its name, Lions, was worth 16 points. Justin, Dolphins was worth nine. The number one was yeah. the, the Bears. The Bears. Yep, oh, at 21 yeah, yeah. Points. I, I, and that's another one I thought immediately yeah. after. That was the other one. Oh, man, I wish I would have said that. So, Justin, your total score is 137. 182. Woo! Good job. Good game, man. Let's go. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get to... That was great. That was another good game. That was a banger. Fun time. Rocket League! All right. We are here with some Rocket League. We nixed the marble races again this week. Because I like Rocket League, and it was way more fun. It's a good time. So first up, since I usually go last, uh, Justin and I are going to go first this time. Matchup of the week, baby. Matchup of the week. And three. Wait, which one do I put? Uh, spectate. Spectate. spectate? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Three, two, one, begin. Begin. <laughs> 
Jester. Uh, Jester <laughs> versus go. Sabretooth. Who's a, who is that? Who is Jester? Uh, I think I'm yellow. I'm yellow. Yeah, I'm pink. Okay. Yeah. Go, Jester. Get the boost. Get what are you doing? Get it, boy. Get it. It doesn't matter, though, because I'm going to lose regardless. Nice shot. Get Steal it. it. No, Steal no, it. no, no. Get out. Get, go, 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 <laughs> Remember how you said you're like someone can die? I'm like, yes, they can. Wait, you can die. Oh, no, you're still alive. You're still alive. Like, he, he blew you up and then got oh, nowhere near dude, the Dude, I love your hat, ball. though. The hat is nice That's touch. pretty dope. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Big pass here. Oh, did he get oh, it? Oh, oh, no! Go! Snuck it in. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to lose, but it feels good. Look at that JPEG. save. What are you doing, you <laughs> idiot? <laughs> I finally won. I won two in a row, man, there after you go. You're on three streak. weeks. No wonder you like Rocket League. Right? I like oh. this one way better. The marble always just kills me. All right, next up we've got Bruce versus Josiah. In three, two, one, go. Josiah, do you want to come over here and commentate? No, you're good. Just you're sitting good. there watching. Here we go. Kick Yuri off versus all right, home. boom. Look at look oh, at you guys. Man, it's tough. Just humping each other oh. in the middle. It's fighting over balls. Bruce is going for it. He's going for the early shot. Typical, oh, typical uh, Josiah. Just fighting over balls. <laughs> what a shot. All right. So I forget which one's which, right? Uh, Bruce is green. Bruce is green. Bruce, okay. Bruce Banner. Yeah, and Josiah Bruce is just kind of boom. Randomly driving. He's repping Finland there. Is that who he's supporting? Uh, as, as his country? I'm not really I don't know. sure. Oh, oh. Oh, never mind. I thought. Oh, huge it? steal by oh, Josiah. He's it, going for the shot. Oh, he's, he's got it. He's got it. Got it. That's it. Oh. Look at that. Look at you. Look at that steal, man. Just, Stole the trade right there. Made yep. a trade with that. Frog and Wall. Beautiful. And got the win. Boom. Wait, you guys made a trade. Not yet, but it's going to happen. Gonna We're happen. going to get there. All right. Josiah won. Look at him taunt. Oh, yeah. that's clearly a Steelers fan. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> what a chud. What a chud. <laughs> All right. Next up, we've got Kevin versus Brittany. Brittany is the pink. Uh, Kevin picked purple. Um, he likes purple. I, I do like purple. It's my favorite yeah. color. All right. And three, two, one, go. Gerwin. <laughs> you are now Gerwin. 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 Kevin, okay, Gerwin. Now, now we have to just call you Gerwin. Oh, man. What a cheap. Kev first name Kevin. Oh, it's over. Gerwin. Come on. Come on. Come on. Over. Oh, oh, no. you oh, you. Brittany. Dude, you could have jumped there and made that. <laughs> Didn't you platinum this game, Kevin? I did. You should have been able to did make that really? shot. Totally platinum trophy this game, yeah. That's too funny. I didn't play nearly as much as Justin did, though. Not even yeah. close. Oh! Oh, he oh. missed it! Oh, man. That oh, makes, like, no play on the ball. Brittany just, no shame, just hitting you right in the face. She's there. got, dude, she's got to come back. Like, last week, she just sat twerking on the wall and lost, so. <laughs> yeah, she's got to, she's got to, you know, make up for that. Uh-oh. Oh. Huge steal. Good job. Oh, Kevin, you're lost. You're lost, buddy. It's not good. Uh, nope, nope. He's back there defending. You're good, oh. you're good, you're good. Fake it. Oh, oh. shot too early, too early. Brittany's with the aggression here, though. Yeah. Will it pay off? Uh, she's watch her get stuck on the wall again and do the same thing. That would be amazing. She Meanwhile, just, keeps just hanging out in the goal. It's yeah. fine. Rod's I mean, you don't have to do much of anything if she's just That's hitting true. it back and forth like she's oh, been. Oh, this is it. This oh, is it. This oh, is oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. How's your shot, girl? Making the move. Nope. Oh. Come on. Come on. You got three minutes and 48 oh, man. seconds. Kevin's just oh. flying in there. Man. Is he going to be able to get it? Oh, nope. nope. That's oh, it. Oh, that's, no. that's, oh, no. Oh, it's a miss. It's a miss. Oh, you, dude, oh. you got so lucky. Yes, I did. Oh, oh my get God. In the oh, what a save. <laughs> oh, reverse that's it. it. Oh, Come on. Turn Let's around. Go. Go, go. Let's go. Wow. 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 Oh, my oh, gracious. Wow. Let's go. Oh. Man. There's the platinum trophy right there showing yeah. off. Yep. Making the save. I was playing the defensive game. Making yeah. the, the whole turn. Time. Man, Huge just waiting shot. for her to make a mistake, and she did. Look at you. Good job, Kevin. Thank you. Great Good job, job, Kevin. All right, next we've got Nathan versus Michael in the desert. And 3, 2, 1, go. Mad Max style Tusk. here. Tusk. Nathan is Tusk. And he's Michael is man. imp. Michael is quite the <laughs> imp. He's got so, a sweet tooth here. I just want to point out that uh, Tusk does not have many windows in his van. Oh, that's real. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> All right, Imp, you better get this then. <laughs> Gotta take this this dude out. Oh, it's oh, over. It's, it's over. over. Oh, ready. Look at that. Wow. wow. 16 seconds. Damn. That's longer than I last. 
Tusk was too busy trying to organize the freaking Andy. It's fine. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, you know, I have that on them bigger jobs, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Michael won that. That seems, uh, I mean, that's probably how that game's going to go anyway. And for the final match, we have Ryan versus Jed in 3, 2, 1, go. I want them to tie. I don't want either of them to win. <laughs> right. Just time runs out. It would take five minutes, though. Yeah. I think I've got an overtime set where you, like, somebody has to score. But I think cool. I think you have to actually set that option. I've like, played some matches that have lasted a very, very long so, time. Oh, I can imagine. Ryan is Samara, which is very fitting because he's a oh, horror movie guy. Stopped him. Stopped yeah, yeah. him. Here he goes. He got the boost, though. He's got the steal. You guys are both just playing midfield. Like, usually there's one person back right. defending, like, the entire time. Junker. Big boost steal right there. Oh. Huge oh, oh, block. Oh, 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 oh. Go catch you up. Get it? Make the shot. Hit that shot. Make it's the over. shot. Got it. it's oh, over. Jed's got it. Over. Oh, sorry. Ryan's got it. Yep. It's absolutely wrecked, Jed. I mean, that's, oh, what a block. That's Red how the game's going to go. I'll yeah. set him so. like Dr. Seuss right there and finished off the shot. Not yep. as impressive as the, as the uh, Michael win, but yep. still solid. Still that was solid. good. All right. Good job, Ryan. All right. That's the was, most. Dude, this is, I, I like Rocket League. Uh, we're going to have to switch it up next week, probably do marble races, but the Rocket League is so much fun. What I'm Re finding about this uh, AI generating picks here smarter than me so yeah when yeah. i do my gambling in real life i'm gonna just start flipping coins dude just get just download rocket league and just run yeah, run simulations he has downloaded no worse I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> how many how, how many hours justin do you play rocket league way too many <laughs> thousands that's absurd all right let's go ahead and get to the comments section All right, comment section, comment section. This is where we read your comments, and um, yeah, you guys need to leave more. There yeah, I didn't so, leave any was, this week. Yeah, there were so many on, yeah, on the week last three, um, and there was only like just a handful this week. But it got us the the um, the Google Drive with all the league information in it. Quality so. over quantity. Yep. That's right. All right, uh, so at the top here, Chris, another week, another great show, guys. LMAO at the Burrow Pillow. Oh, man. Also, Josiah took my next trivia question with who doesn't have any Hall of Famers. So you stole his, hall, you stole his question, which is fine because he gave us another one anyway. Um, he also said the deal or no deal for sure should be a regular. If it's possible, have some graphics showing the league or lineup options so we can see how the teams are shaking out. Like I said, link is in the description now, so you can check all that stuff out there. Great suggestion. Yep. Philly Tribe said Josiah loves to spread joy and nuts to all. He did. You have a rebuttal? He did. He brought nuts. <laughs> he has nuts again. <laughs> Come show it to the camera so he can see it. Because you know he's going to watch. Oh, those aren't D's nuts, though. No, they're just planters. Original. Original. Nuts with chocolate. Jay, when I asked where I got <laughs> D's nuts at, I said, I sent her a reel. I said, here, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> right there. All right. Uh, post game content, Michael said, I bet Justin is eating this uh, Rocket League up. Very fun. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Philly Tribe again. Also to Josiah. Can we talk about Josiah's trash talk preseason in his own dynasty league this year and starting one and three, sitting in eighth place? Sorry, I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking trash about your preseason trash talk. And now you're sitting at one and three in the dynasty or in yeah, in the dynasty league. I had Nick Chubb. And, Oof. See, dude. And it, and Jonathan Taylor. Yeah. It's tough, dude. Yeah. He's That's a defending like champion in my league, too. Yeah. So. <sighs> Leave it to us 30-somethings or Chubb's letting us down. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> sponsored by Blue Chew. That was going on in my 20s. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> Josiah commented back to that. Uh, said, I was in dead last and now I'm in eighth place. Look out. And then also, uh, Philly Tribe responded to that. I mean, seriously, Josiah, got to do better than that. Uh, Jabeki said, I just want someone to hold me like Ryan holds that pillow in the outro. Truly. Yeah. Yeah, don't we all? That shot fired, Ange. <laughs> <laughs> that must be. Uh, Jabeki also said, Ryan, don't you be pimping out my piggies. Wow, yeah. He, he really did. He, yeah, did. he did. Foul ball. And uh, she also said, edge of my seat over here with who wants to be a millionaire. Mm. Very good. Yes, yes. Uh, Michael said, nobody liked that at all with the pillow. Um, and he also said that there was too much positivity on last week's podcast and we needed to, we needed to stop. So, yeah, that. fuck everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have, we have Kevin on this week, so there's just no positivity. Yeah, it's, it's, like, I'll just bring everything down. There. Speaking um, of 
drop it in the comments whether you prefer myself or Ryan as a host. Oh wow! Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. I like Ryan's that. pretty hard. To... But I'm gonna have my heart broken. Yeah. Ryan's pretty good at the commentary. He really if is. I remember in the community section uh, of the 13 Palm Trees page, I'll put up a poll. So there you go. Vote there. There you yeah. go. There we go. Yeah, it'll, uh, it'll be a very one side of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chris also left a trivia question. All which right. To he replied the answers, and I was looking through everything, so I saw the answers, so I won't partake. Mm-hmm. Jerk. Don't leave the answers, idiot. <laughs> we have phones. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Freaking pen, pen clicker over there. You can just shoot them to me on Discord. Yeah, you can do that. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Um, trivia time. Which two teams have existed since the league's creation? To oh, be wow. fair, I already knew this one anyway. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, I believe it is. Two teams? Two teams. Who are the, sh- the Bears mm-hmm. and That's the Jets? Right. Nope. I'm nope. going to go with the Bears and the Packers. Nope. That's who I was thinking, at least. It's the Bears and the Cardinals. Okay. Wow. I would have never thought of that. But they were not in Arizona at the time. They were in was it St. Louis at that point? Uh dude, I dude, I don't know. I uh it's it's crazy how much the teams moved around yeah. and like merged. Right, and yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, I don't I don't remember exactly where that's they a were. good trivia question. Man, we have, we've had some real good, good trivia questions yeah. around here. Keep them coming. Yeah. I also posted a link in the last week's comments to the because uh, we talked about the the Cowboys. Um it was the Dallas they were located in Dallas. The Kansas City Chiefs were located in Dallas. They moved to Kansas City. Mm-hmm. And then the Dallas Cowboys came in. And it's um I didn't write it down, but it's it's the road sign trophy. And it's got the the Cowboys logo, the Chiefs logo on it, and then they have like little plaques with for who wins oh, and they nice. pass it back and forth between the owners. Mm-hmm. There's a picture in last week's episode in the comments. There's a link to the picture of it. Very cool. Justin, you want to check so, I want to fact check mm-hmm. to see where uh, the Cardinals were. When the league started, because now I'm, it's St. Louis sounds right. I feel like they were in St. Louis. Also, I feel like they both had the baseball and the whole team, the Cardinals yeah, at the time. Yeah, that's that's what I'm I'm unsure of. If, if While it, based oh. in Chicago, the Cardinals won their only two Chicago. NFL championships in 1925 and 1947. Based After in 40 Chicago. seasons in Chicago, the club moved to St. Louis okay. in so, 1960. So both both initial teams were in Chicago. Yeah, so Chicago, then they moved to St. Louis. That makes sense, to, uh, the way they would play. Exactly. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so we got one last thing, and that is primetime picks. Justin, you got another trivia question? The mic is yours. Just don't make fun of me again. Hey, babe. <laughs> All right. I'm scared. Can you name five quarterbacks that were the first overall pick and also won the Super Bowl? Mm. Oh, wow. This Go. is not for me because we talked about this the other day. We five. <laughs> five. I know if I can name one. Five. So do the backups count? Because we went over that too. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even know. Was, Pey- was Peyton Manning a number one pick? No, he was not. A lot of number one picks are just busts, man. Yeah, because Ryan Leaf went first overall the year Peyton Manning was drafted. Baker Mayfield hasn't won a championship um, yet. He's not. Jamarcus Russell hasn't won a championship. Wow, that's a great question. It is. I can't even name one. You did name one. Peyton Manning? Yeah. Uh, I, I thought I Peyton fig- Manning was drafted after Ryan Leaf. Ryan Leaf was too. And I, for some reason, I thought Ryan Leaf went. I'm pretty sure Ryan Leaf went first overall in that draft. I'm, I'm okay. In hmm. the day in draft, Colts select Peyton Manning number one overall in 1998. Okay. So. I was wrong. So that's one point for Justin and negative one for, for Kevin. <laughs> for, be, for, for being, being wrong, wrong and questioning wrong. it. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Ryan Leaf <laughs> went number two overall. This is a great question. Yep. I mean, drafting quarterbacks is very difficult. The Giants are figuring that out. Mm-hmm. The problem is you don't pay them. You also don't draft Daniel million. Jones number five overall. Yeah, that and then pay him hundreds of millions of dollars after yeah. he right, was right. decent at best yeah. for a couple of years. So. Elon Manning was not drafted first. I do remember that. No. Nope. I remember he was drafted by the, by the Chargers in the man of the trade. A lot of great quarterbacks are drafted way later on and get on good teams. They are. You know what I mean? That will be negative two for Kevin because Eli Manning was drafted first <laughs> overall and then traded to the Giants. Okay. Really? So you're going that in the wrong Kevin. direction. Kevin, I did not know that either. <laughs> well, that will be negative Who two. Who was then? his backup whenever he won uh, the Super Bowl? Eli Manning's backup? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Somebody that you would not sus- expect to have a Super Bowl ring that played starting quarterback. 
And then one over there is a bag. Four? The Houston Texans. The car? Wow. Yeah. All right. That, who, that's that's a gimme. Who's the yeah. other who's the so, other two, just to finish off this trivia segment? Uh you could have gone John Elway. Uh you could have gone Terry Bradshaw. Uh you could have gone yeah. with uh Matthew Stafford. So Yeah, Matthew Stafford go. finally that's got right. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the yeah. one that I just didn't even think about because yeah, right. John, yeah, John Elway, and... I mean, I, I hate the Broncos, so. You could have gone with Troy Aikman. And He's also right. Drew Bledsoe, who did win a Super Bowl. He did as behind. A backup. As a backup. Yep. Behind Tom Brady. Yeah. Yep. yep. <clears throat> All right. Great question. Great yep. question. All right. Put your guys' minds to work. Okay, let's get the primetime picks here. Moving on to primetime picks now. On Thursday, we have, let's see, the Bears at the Commanders. Give me the Commanders. I think they're going to beat the Bears because – the Commanders are looking looking spicy. And NFC beast being real this year. Um, Cowboys at 49ers. This is going to be a very interesting game. I'm very excited to see how this one plays out. Give me the Niners over the Cowboys. And then lastly, the Packers at the Raiders from Monday Night Football. Give me the Packers over the Raiders. So, those are my picks uh, and everything. I hope to see you guys next week. Uh, I'm sorry you guys have to deal with Kevin in my spot for this week. But, you know, I will be back. Bye, everybody. All right. On Thursday night, football presented by Amazon Prime. Since we're not, we're sponsored by them this week. So we'll just say that we have the Bears versus the Commanders, or it's at the Commanders. This is going to be a. Kevin, who do you have in the Bears versus Commanders? I may, I may uh, live to regret this pick. I'm going with the upset. Give me the Bears. The Bears. I think Justin Fields is a big week against Washington. He did great last week. They got rid of Chase Claypool. And they played the Broncos, who just gave up 70 points the week before. It was, That's it, fair. It was a game that no one wanted to lose, and somehow they still lost. Right. But. Yeah. Well, Sean Payton cut his sleeves off. He did. And then that was just a game. They're going to have a run. great season now, probably go on a huge <laughs> playoff run. Yeah. I'm going with the Bears, too. Really? Yep. Okay. I am not. Justin Fields is back. I don't know if he was ever there. Go he the was Cowboys. there when he played for Ohio State. That's the last time he was there. What's that? Uh, it's only six, I believe. Really? I, will, I will tell you right I now. Believe I mean, that's fair. Commanders it's Thursday by night six. football. It's probably going to yeah, be five like... and a half, five and a half for the Commanders. Uh, I it, all it's, it's it's moved up to six. I would definitely take Bears plus six. Absolutely, no doubt. In my um, mind. I do want to point out too that when you said Justin Fields weren't sure he was ever there, he was there at Ohio State. He he was there at Ohio State. Hundred percent. CJ Stroud's better though. All right, and we have. Oh wait, who'd you pick, Daniel? Uh, the commies. For oh, sure. you got the commies. Yep. Oh, okay. No, that's so you. <clears throat> but <laughs> yeah, the Cowboys fan loves picking the commanders. Yeah, absolutely love it. And yeah. then next we have we have an extra game this week. We have yep. the Jaguars, who I assume they stayed over in London, right? They did. They are going to take on my ex, my backs Buffalo Bills out Nathan's in London. Nathan's going to be at that game. He's going to be at that game. Yeah. That's so cool. That's... I told him to send send uh, videos. So next week, hopefully, we'll have some videos from that game. What yeah. night are they playing? Because it's, it's a this, Saturday. That's no, this is a Sunday, Sunday morning, morning at oh, okay. nine thirty. Yeah. But uh, it's prime time there. So it's prime time there. Yes. So uh, Buffalo is only favored by five and a half, which is pretty low because. But the Jaguars, this is like their second home. So yeah. I feel like maybe they're they're factoring the travel. Uh, Kevin, who do you got in this game? I'm actually, based on the fact that the Bills just traveled and the Jags have been there for a couple weeks now, I kind of take the Jags. I'm going Buffalo, but that's a respect. It's a respectful pick that they're there and they've been chilling probably all week, mm-hmm. and they play. They they play there a lot too. So yeah, Ryan sent his over. There's a video that'll play. Yeah, that's already played. <laughs> Got to be here to make so, your picks. Yeah. All right, Daniel, who do you got? I've got the Bills. This one was actually really tough, kind of like on uh, Kevin's uh, thing. Like you know, the Jags have had the Bills number in the past, um, but I don't know. I think the Bills are just playing really good. You know, Trevor Lawrence right starting to catch on. He's starting to kind of get back in the yeah. Groove and too, Slinky, so. Slinky Dog was moving pretty good on the side there. And that <laughs> that was that was fantastic. That was awesome. They, really <laughs> did, a good job they did a good job of it, dude. It, it annoyed me. To like no end, like all these people complaining about it. It's like the, it's for kids. Yeah, like stop fun. complaining about it. Watch ESPN Plus. People just don't want to have fun. Dude. It was fun. They did a good job. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I thought like it was good. everybody's complaining it's, about it. Like this is too kiddie. Didn't they do that with some, with another property? Like it was an IP last year. Yeah, the Nickelodeon, the Nickelodeon slime. Nickelodeon. They did like yeah. a slime thing. Yeah, yeah. But Slinky Dog moving backwards when they got a penalty. That was that was great. Yeah. So 
Yeah, good picks. And then <clears throat> Sunday night football. I actually want to skip this one and go to Monday night football just That's because fine. Monday nights. We're, we're, we'll do Monday night first. Monday night football, Packers at Raiders. Packers got embarrassed last week in primetime versus the Lions at home. I think the Lions have beat them four times in a row, which is insane. Aaron Rodgers would have never well, – he actually, he did let he that did happen. Allow he it. did let that happen. He did <laughs> let that happen. So, in the Raiders, they're just dog water. I don't know what's going to happen. So, Kevin, Packers at Raiders. What you got on Monday night football? I'm going with Packers. I believe Carr was injured. Not Carr. Um the Raiders. Garoppolo. Paul Garoppolo, yeah. yeah. Garoppolo's injured. Too so. many porn stars out. Um, yeah. he's, in, he's in concussion protocol. There's, yeah, so I he's still in as of today. Who's There's, playing back up to Garoppolo? Uh, Some oof, rookie. Uh, no, wait, that was the name. Saints. No, what's him? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I forget. I'll, I'll take Greenback. doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, I'm going Greenback. Yeah, I'm also going Packers. I'm going well, Packers, too. I think yeah. it's a smart pick. All right. And then our prime time, prime time. Matchup of the like week the here. Game of the week. Yeah, this is going to be huge. huge, man. It's going to be so much better than last week's Sunday Night Football, which was trash. We got the Dallas Cowboys going on the road to Old Candlestick. It's not Candlestick anymore. Mm-mm. To the 49ers. Will we Dak Prescott, it. he already got asked questions at a press conference. He was Dude, pissed you see off that? about He was like, it. you're just trying to piss me off, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Basically said, you lost the game last time there through two picks. And he's just like, thanks, man. You pissed me off. I mean, it's the truth. He did. Like he did literally like Josiah can attest. He used to be able to talk trash about Dak Prescott to me. And I would get so mad after that game. I was like, dude, I don't even care. It's like that Dak Prescott. It's a big, I mean, <laughs> this is, a, he has nothing to make fun of me uh, for. So it's a massive game. Yeah. Cowboys. I guarantee their fans are going to show up there. Oh yeah. Cowboy fans are everywhere. Kevin Cowboys at 49ers. What you got, man? I had a tough time picking this one. I think it's going to be a fairly low scoring affair. Um, just because they're two defenses that are great. I think mm. the Cowboys by a small margin. Cowboys by a small margin. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to squeak one out. I've actually got the Cowboys, too. The line is San Francisco by four. I would totally oh, pick the Cowboys, Cowboys cover plus that. four. What do you got, Mr. Cowboy over there, Daniel? What it's rough. Think? It's rough. I think this is this is the game that the Cowboys need to win. I think they do. Of all the games, like now that Aaron Rodgers is out of Green Bay, because Aaron Rodgers has always had our number. This is the game that we have to show up for. We we have to win it. And I'm sticking with my boys. The boys. We have the boys across them boys. the board here. Yep. Uh, uh, very interesting it's gonna be, to it's, see what Christian McCaffrey does against this yeah. defense. Our run defense with Mozzie Smith has actually gotten way better than it was last year. I think this past week we held the Patriots to 54 yards. Yeah, Ezekiel ate, like, uh, Ezekiel really ate it. Yeah, yeah. I think he had what fourteen carries yeah, was, for like eighteen yards. That wasn't or impressive. Like that. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. It's good. that's the key to the game. But, is, is shutting down on CMC. Yeah, that's they got to the, do that. They're going to win. The issue that without Trayvon Diggs there, um, of course, Deron Bland is playing lights out. He had two picks last week, one to the house, um, his backup. But it's, I think. What could break the Cowboys back is the the chuck downs to CMC, and it it'll just be over if we can't stop that. If we can't get pressure on Purdy, where he can just chuck it down, because the receivers will more than likely be covered, and the pass rush pass rush is so good that it's just going to be chucked down. And if CMC gets that ball in space, it's it's over. So that's really going to be the determining factor, I think, in that game. So I wish Leighton Vanderesh was faster because he plays that that linebacker position and. He's not catching up to CMC, no way. So, got to bottle him up. This is going to be yep. oh yep. man, it's oh, going to be a real good game. game. Yeah, it's going to be a slugfest. I I hope it's like six to nine. Yeah, I, th- like, I really I, I it's yeah. going to be the o- the over be over under is forty five. Uh, just to give you high. just to give I'm you just to give you uh, context, Chiefs play Vikings. It's fifty two and a half. So forty five. You're looking at like twenty four, twenty one. I don't think it. I don't think I, I would. No, I don't. I don't think it's much. I think I think like twenty seventeen is the highest that game can go. Yeah. yeah. So I would bet the under on this one. But I mean, you just never know. I mean, yeah. It's a whole different offense going out there. They were trying to pass a lot against the 49ers. Now they're going to try to run the football, take their time. Oh yeah. man, can't wait to watch this. Yeah, game. it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Yeah, another thing that could just destroy the Cowboys' chances is the fact that our red zone offense has been trash. Of course, it hasn't had to be good, though. Yeah, when you're getting two you're getting, touchdowns on defense <laughs> every right. time. Yeah, it's almost like like the offense hasn't really had a chance to open up because three yeah. of the four games have just been blowouts. 
So it's like when your defense is doing what they're doing, you know. Can't wait. I do. I do think that Brock Purdy throws his first interception this this year, though. I do think that happens. I think. Uh, I think Gilmore is going to get him on one. I do. Excited to find out. That's your that prime or, time. That or picks. Curse. Curse might might get one. He's all over the place too. We have a final question. From the audience. Yes, from the audience. Hi, uh, Josiah here, a long-time listener. Um, <laughs> for the next animated game, the one in Andy's room was fantastic. Which cartoon would you like to see face off in a game of football? Bluey. Yes! Absolutely. <laughs> Bluey is just off the charts, man. Listen, we were at the beach last <laughs> week with uh, Little Fish's cousin and their kids. I, I watched... My years worth of Bluey last week right. for sure. My niece Listen, Bluey's love, hilarious. My nieces, nieces love Bluey. Bluey is so. hilarious. Mm-hmm. Uh, serious answer though. That is my serious. That's your serious answer. What cartoons are really like relevant with the children these days? SpongeBob, like, man. Bluey. SpongeBob. SpongeBob just got renewed again. Adventure Time. Adventure Time. I, I fully expected you to say like something Disney related, like. Uh, Mickey Mouse Donald or Duck. Goofy Dog. Yeah, just like all. Oh, see, uh, Donald versus Mickey. Oh, yeah. On the field. Let's go, Donald. Honestly, like, you know, it's on Disney Plus, so they might as well. You know, they've already done Toy Story. Yeah. Right? They've got the technology. Just do that. You yeah. mean DuckTales versus Rescue Rangers? We're going to be old school. <laughs> two- oh, my Yo, gosh. Right. That'd be so good. That yeah. That would be good. That would be kind of cool, like pitting two separate cartoons against each other, like for each team. Right. Yeah, that would be really cool. But all right. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave some comments down below so we can have more stuff to read off next week trivia questions tons of trivia questions just look up something random and send it to us and don't uh, post the answers yeah don't post the answers you idiots come on now um 13 palm trees.myshopify.com where you can find merch that's not from us because we don't have any yet because uh i'm too busy to make some and uh 13 palm tre- or patreon.com slash 13 palm trees where you can go and support us you will not get jebecky's feet picks but you might get one of mine so i have one final question for mr josiah if you would rejoin us okay what is your question, sir? Okay. Uh, hi, this is for Josiah. Hi. hi. With the acquisition of... Oh. Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. Yeah. Puck drop Tuesday. Get that commie shit off my podcast. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Suck it, everybody in the league. Man, this jersey looks hella dirty. Yeah, it doesn't look clean. Yeah. I mean, I haven't washed it in like five years. So. That's... I thought it looked good. Gross. It looks good on you, buddy. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It doesn't look dirty. It definitely looks dirty. <laughs> 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 you ready? It smells fine now. <laughs> I might just be used to it at this point. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> See if Jebecky remembers since she, she she came here once and then took the next day off. I told like, you I had tickets to this concert for the last what six concert? months. What better concert been, was it? Better been Taylor Stevie Swift. Nicks. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. But the cheerleaders. Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders are an American classic. They, they are. That's, they really why, are. that's what I was thinking. I was looking at Daniel and I thought of cheerleaders. Thanks. <laughs> My pretty. <laughs> Should I take the pants off? Dude, five shots. Be careful. You're going to be vibrating here in a minute. It's fine. I like when Daniel vibrates my butt. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> like Justin just said, be careful what you say. <laughs> it's always recording. Dude, when Josiah died is the Marvel top <laughs> podcasting moment. Like, we lost it. I was like, I can't believe this happened. Uh, I'm just going to